In this video, I'll show you how to edit images using Flux Context Dev using Comfy UI in RunPod, so let's get started. OK, go to RunPod website and sign in into your account. Then, click on Pods on the sidebar. You can switch between Secure Cloud and Community Cloud, I'll be using Secure Cloud because it's more reliable. You can also attach a network volume if you want. Now we'll need to select a GPU for our project. I'll choose RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes of memory. Next, choose the PyTorch template depending on the chosen GPU. In this case, I'm choosing PyTorch 2.1. Now, edit the template as shown. Increase the volume disk size to 100 gigabytes and the container disk size to 50 gigabytes. Also add the port 8188 as shown. Then click on Set Overrides. You can also add a name for the machine. Finally click on the Deploy button and wait. It'll take some time for the server to become ready. Then click on the Connect button. Finally click on the port 8888 to access JupyterLab on a new tab as shown. OK now upload the script files into JupyterLab. Then open a new terminal and run the first script as shown. It will take around 5 minutes to complete. When the script finishes, run the second script to start Comfy UI as shown. Then go back to RunPod and click on port 8188 to access Comfy UI on a new tab. Then drag the attached workflow into Comfy UI as shown. This is a simple workflow, all the required models have already been downloaded using the previous script. We will be using 20 steps during the sampling process as shown here. OK, let's upload an image to get started, I'll be using an image of a supercar as shown here. For the text prompt, I'll just tell Flux Context to change the color of the car to red. Then click on Run to execute the workflow. As you can see, Flux Context did exactly as told, and changed the car color to red, everything else stayed the same. Very impressive. Now let's click on Refresh to use the last generated image as input image and continue editing it even further. Now we will ask Flux Context to change the background to winter, and make snowfall. Once again, it did an incredible job, just look at this picture, it did exactly as we ask it to. Now let's repeat the editing process and add a snowman in the background. As expected, the result is very good and it placed the snowman in the background. Very cool. Now, let's try something different. I'll upload an image of a woman. Then I'll ask Flux Context to change the style to Ghibli. As you can see, Flux Context can also change the style of an image easily. Now let's upload another image of a woman. Then enable this node, and upload the image of a bag. Then I'll tell Flux Context to make the woman hold the bag in the text prompt. As you can see, the result is bad. This is because of the image resolution of the two input images which are stitched together in the workflow. To fix the output resolution, we need to enable this empty latent node, which uses 1024 x 1024 resolution. As you can see, the result is now much better and the woman is holding the bag, you can play around with the text prompt to get even better results.